Welcome back to Let's Play Canon Standard Edition. And why? Why must Cam Studio lag so badly that I have to re record everything because the lag is that terrible? Anyway, in the last episode, we ran into Ayu's usual victim and he's pretty pissed off, so let's continue. Dodging to the right of a group of students, and to the left of a trio of housewives on a shopping trip, we run. Then I notice that our surroundings have changed. Ayu. I slow down and look behind me. There's nobody there. Huh? In the distance, back along the path, I can see someone waving at me. The figure, realizing that I've stopped, stands there, shoulders heaving. Ayu, I presume. How come I'm so far ahead? After a while, I begins to run away. Well, I say run, but it's closer to our walk. Eventually, she catches up. She swerves uncertainly towards me, puffing out a white cloud. No, you're slow. Panting heavily, she staggers up to me. No, you're slow. You shouldn't wear such heavy clothes. So, you should dress for the chase. You are a professional, aren't you? I guess that's a mitigating factor. We seem to have run pretty far. I have a feeling we're not in the shopping center anymore. We're not in Japan anymore, viewers! Wait, no, we are. We are in a place that I recognize from the anime, but Yuichi doesn't recognize it. Why? Because that is what the story is about. He's remembering the memories. Shut up and get on with it. There's nobody else in sight, for one thing. Well, there's still some time before sunset. There can't be that much daylight left. We've gone pretty far. There's somewhere I don't recognize at all. <sighs> the sun shining through the snow, which covers the foliage above us, creates a strange and unfamiliar scene. As soon as she's sure the man from the stall is no longer chasing us, she gleefully produces the paper bag. Checking the loot already? I can't help it. It's true, though. I just hope you aren't going to... Proscredinate, whatever that's pronounced as, before getting around to it. With this rather unconvincing assurance, she tears open the bag. The steam from within fills the air with a delicious sweet smell. What have you stolen today? I ask, trying to peer into the bag. Brandishing the bag with a broad grin. What? Again? How? You're exactly the same. She has eyes for nothing else but her beautifully crispy taiyaki. She pulls one out with a rustle of paper. She offers me one with a smile. You're determined to incriminate me again, aren't you? Why not? Uh, there's a certain logic in that. Okay, I'll take it. Huh? Nodding cheerfully, she hands me a taiyaki. What is up with her mouth there, though? Shouldn't her mouth... Oh, that... oh yeah, anime has it so the mouth is like... Way the hell up there. Wait, no. What am I talking about? 
With anime, they have giant eyes that take up way too much of their face, but it seems somewhat appealing. It's strange, only Japan could pull that off. Hmm. She munches away happily. Nothing. I don't want any more. Ignoring my reply, she presses another into my hand. No, I... Smiling into my face. Up close, she's even smaller than I thought. Oshine! Yeah, fair enough. Fighting into my second taiyaki, I drop my free hand onto Ayu's head. She narrows her eyes crossly. Eat up. We've got to make it back home before it gets dark. Nothing smiling broadly, she pushes another taiyaki into her mouth. Munching away, grunting happily. Can't you eat quietly? Oshine! The pleasure of eating brings tears of joy to her eyes. How could I hope to compete for her attention? Finally, she finishes her third, leaving me one down. Well, we'd better get going before it gets dark. Uh, so, shall we go back to the shopping center first? Uh, so, are we going to go then? Uh, don't you know? Uh-oh. Someone who just moved here two days ago isn't going to know more than a local. She stares at me, her expression unreadable. unreadable. Of course, I've only had one day to learn my way around this place. She clings to that point, as though in desperation. Well, I did live here for a while, when I was little. But I moved away. Yeah, I guess the last time I was here would be around then. How did you know? That's why people call me. She looks down, her voice fading away. Her shoulders tremble slightly. What's wrong, Ayu? She's shaking her whole tiny body. That last bit was unnecessary. No, Yuichi, it is completely necessary. You are very weird. Suddenly, sweeping out of the corner of my memory, a scene. Snow. A girl. Crying. Taiyaki. Sunset. And... Ayu. Yes, I remember. I visited the town seven years ago, and there was a girl I played with. Her name was definitely... Ayu. That's right. It's been a long time. Bit by bit, the returning memory becomes clear. The girl's name was definitely Ayu. That's all I can really remember. What sort of girl was she? How did I come to know her? I simply can't remember. Kicking off from the snow, reaching towards me with open arms, Ayu. I dodge reflectively. Uh-oh. 
I was standing in front of a tree, which she flew straight into. Are you, are, are you alright? We'll find out next time on Let's Play Canon Standard Edition. If this recording didn't lag so bad that I have to redo the damn video. See you next time.